Hello, welcome everybody. Good. Awesome. So, we're going to have a super fun, awesome impact, or fusion impact class today for you guys. I'm joined by a couple of awesome instructors. I got Mr. Turner over here, Mr. Reynolds, and I got Mr. Rashad right here. Boom. Wave hello, guys. Say hello. Hello. Awesome. So, they're going to be joining me. Uh, doing some awesome fun stuff with you guys. All right, uh, I don't have a timer for whatever reason. All right, so let's go ahead and just do a two minute timer here. Good, wait for a couple people to get in here. We got five. So far, no one has commented except for Lucas Ray. How you doing? Awesome. Good. So we have uh, your mom, Miss Reynolds. Miss Katie Reynolds. All right. Keeping an eye on me. <laughs> awesome. So, oh man, so many comments. All right, we got Chance. Uh, we got the Woolums family. Awesome. So, um, questions for you guys. Again, just, you know, what have you been up to? What's cool, fun happening in your lives? Are you guys doing anything fun recently? Uh, cool. Cool? Cool sounds fun. I've been hiking. Hiking? Awesome. We got Mr. Brandon Brockwell. All right, we'll give it another minute and then we will get set to go. Her, Ben, Sean. Now, just a reminder, guys, is that you don't have to just stay behind the computer screen anymore, all right? You guys can join us on the mat. Again, you can schedule your classes in either the Centerville or Springboro locations. Again, we'd love to have you guys here in person doing fun stuff. All right, get our fancy new socks. Awesome, about 30 more seconds. Let me get my planner going here so I know what I'm doing. Awesome. Good. Again, again, um, you know, if you want to message in the comments, let us know what you've been up to, anything cool, fun, or interesting. You know, just weird, weird stuff happens. Weird stuff happens to me all the time. All right, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. All right, Mrs. Cap, hello. Alrighty. From there, let me get this timer out of the way. Perfect. Alrighty. So let me have, let's do this. Let me have Mr. Reynolds, if you want to step one way or the other, now I can see, yeah, no, I'm not walking in. Perfect. All right, guys, let's get started from your face me. Sir. Can I bow? Sir. The academy tenants begin. I will demonstrate leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect, sir. And can I bow? Sir. Chumbi. Sir. All right, let's go ahead and get 10 awesome jumping jacks. Go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Good. All right, from there, feet as wide as your shoulders, neck rotations. Good. And other way. Good. Arm circles forward. And backward. Good. Let's see, we got Aaron Thomas. We got both Alex and Mrs. Cap. Perfect. Good. Arms across the body. Sit. And from there, we're going to bring them up and down. Sit. And there we go. Good. From there, legs as wide as your sitting stance, reaching over the body, side to side. Good. Get a nice, good stretch here. Well, I can sink right now. I appreciate that, guys. Good. Twist side to side. Good. Leg straight, reaching down low, side to side. Sit. Good. Arms straight. All the way down the middle, down each leg. Then from there, hands on the floor, going into the Spider-Man stretch. Hopefully you guys can do it. I'm going to kneel it down just a little bit. 
Just a tad. Ah. Uh, Righty. From there, and we're gonna hop up. Sir! Alright. So what we're gonna do for our warm-up drill, okay, is we are just kind of working on some sparring movement, working on some footwork. Um, we're gonna kind of come back to that a little bit later. So I'm gonna get my fighting stance, whichever side I want to, and I'm going to imagine, alright, if you have an object like a cone that you want to use, you can. If you don't, just kind of imagine a spot on the floor. Good. I'm not going to be able to see that. That's okay. But I'm here, and I'm going to make a circle all the way around my cone. Okay? Now, as I do this, I want to keep my body facing forward the entire time. So, I'm here. I'm going to go forward to the side without knocking over my cone. <laughs> Uh, but I'm making this circle without having my stomach face the front, all right? So, when you guys are ready, we're going to go for about 30 seconds, working on one side, and then we'll switch and do 30 seconds on the other side. Get ready, get set, and go for it. All right, so you guys can also go with that as well. If you want the cones, you can use them. Good. Perfect. Again, try not to go super fast, just kind of go nice and smooth. Once you get used to that, you can go faster if you would like. Again, only using one side right now. Hands up nice and strong. Good. Eyes are high enough here. And time. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch sides. Now our probably our less favorite side. We're going to work on that a little bit. And go for it. I'm going to switch sides now. Oh, I'm on this side now. I'm mix matching it up on you. Good. Like I said before, if you don't have a cone, that is perfectly fine. You're like double view. I don't know what's happening right now. Oh my goodness. What's happening right now? <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. Okay. And time. Don't know what that was. Weird. All right. Cool. All right, guys. From there, warm up done. Over. We're gonna have a seat on a VT angle stretch. Now I'm gonna angle the camera down. Hopefully you can see me and the rest of my cool team here. Cool. Cool. Perfect. All righty. Leaning back. We're working the tops of our feet. Good. And from there, we're going to back to toe stretch. Good for all those round kicks and front kicks. All right, so what we're going to work on today, guys, we're going to work a little bit on our form. Okay, some form, some sparring stuff, as I mentioned before. Uh, but then we're just going to kind of do some fun stuff. All right, we're going to have some fun today. Good. From there, down to the cobra stretch. Again, trying to get the middle of your belt in between your hands there. Then push the your back up, cat back. If you want a little bit of an extra stretch, trying to have your palm or your fingers pointing towards you for your forearms. Yeah, but otherwise, you can nail your back up as high as you can go. Awesome. And then down to the back, throw everything off the ground, set them out of your belt. Super spy style or Superman style, whichever one. Iron Man style, maybe. Good. And roll around. Five bent leg, five straight leg back rollers. Third. One. Third. Two. Three. Four. Seven. Four. Seven. Straight, reaching down as low as we can towards our toes. Good. If we can't grab our toes, trying to grab our pant leg or our ankle. But if we can reach our toes fairly easily, trying to get your wrists 
or your whole hand over the tips of your toes, so your wrist is touching your toes. Alright, you can reach pretty low over here. Let's see, Mr. Pichette's reaching pretty low. Okay, Brian's reaching pretty low. Good, from there, one leg straight, one leg bent, stretch down the straight leg. Alright, you guys' goal at home is to make sure you're stretching lower than us. Alright. B might be easy. These guys, I don't know. These guys are tough. Good. Again, always making sure trying to keep your back as straight as possible. Leaning forward, chest down low. Good. And switch legs. Sure. All the way. Nice. Yeah, listen. All right, shoulders up nice and high. Reach, reach, reach. Again, trying to make it just a little farther than you did the last time you did this stretch, which hopefully wasn't too long ago. You always want to make sure you're stretching as much as you can. Hold it, hold it, keep reaching. And from there, you're going to take your left leg and keep that leg straight. Your right leg is going to bend over top. And then you're going to spiral twist towards the right. Say hello to the people behind you. There's no one behind you, say hello to the wall. Good. And other side. So now my left leg, or yeah, left leg comes over, right leg twist to the left. Again, say hello to the one behind you. All right. From there, you guys, laying back, reaching out, or up. Pulling your knees nice and tight towards your chest. Again, switching every five or six seconds. Good. Again, trying to make sure just pulling that knee in. Trying to get through your shoulder if you can. Good. From there, we're going to sit up. Our legs are going to go nice and wide, as wide as they can. All righty. This here. All right, and then our hands are going to go behind our head. We're going to get 10 side to side stretches. And go. One, One sir, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, ten, sir. Good. And then once you're done with that, legs out just a tiny bit wider. Reaching down low, down the middle, on your own. Feeling there, folding himself in half, as usual. <laughs> Man, like I said, I'm the easy one to beat. Mr. Turner here, he's not. Good. And bottom two, you're going to put a stretch. Good. Again, trying to make sure I'm pulling. My feet as close to my body as possible. Again, I push my legs down or I can flap them, try and fly away. Fantastic. Again, a couple more seconds here. I need to show you my legs out more. All right, and hop up. So I'm just the camera while well, you guys go ahead and get 10 more jumping jacks. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, ten, sir. Cool. So, what's going to happen? Let's see here if I can do this right now or not. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, all right, is I'm going to go through the form. Uh, a couple or one time through all the way for all the different sections. Now, because uh, I'm on a different computer now, or I'm in a different you know location, I don't have the mirroring effect off. So I'm gonna look like you know if I bring up my left arm, it's gonna be my right, and vice versa. So I know it's gonna be confusing. All right, I understand that, guys. But again, just trying to watch as best you can. All right. Uh, and again, I'm going to say the move, say which side, that way hopefully that helps you. And then after that, I'm going to give you guys a few minutes of practice. Okay? So, again, you guys facing this way. Well, how old are you guys in the form? I know section 2 
going to. I mean, oh, okay. Just making sure I know where I need to be for you guys. All right. So my feet are going to be together just like this. All right. My hands are going to be at my shoulders. Again, just like this. From here, my left foot is going to step back. My arms come to my sides. Low X block. From here, again, low X block. Looks like this right arm is on top. Okay? From here, my right arm goes up. High block, switch arms, punch. Then, whichever arm is punching, so for me it's my left, I'm going to turn that same direction and switch arms, punch. Good. Then, I'm going to take my right arm as I swing back facing whichever way is front for you. I'm going to arm swing, switch arms, palm strike. So right now, my left arm palm striking, right leg in front. From there, my back leg picks up. Front kick, land in front. My right arm elbow strikes. As I do this elbow strike, my left hand's open, right hand hits it. All right, so I'm kind of holding onto that elbow or hitting my own hand, whichever one makes more sense to you. I'm going to do that one more time. From the palm strike, front kick, elbow. Okay? So my left foot's in front. Now my left arm goes up. High block, switch arms, punch. Then, again, whichever arm is out, you're going to turn toward that direction. So it should be my right side. Punch with the other arm. Left arm over, um, goes up and over, palm strike with the right, again, right leg, front kick, land, elbow strike, oh, yeah. ah. all right. All right, my left arm, my right foot's in front, okay, so I'm going to scoot back a little closer, so I'm hopefully not too far away, all right, cool, checking comments, good, all right, from there, right foot in front, that was section one, all right, now we're going to section two. All right, from here, my right foot's in front, my left arm is doing my elbow, okay? Now, this is where it can get more confusing because we're doing some spins and stuff. Again, just try and listen to what I'm saying as best you can because uh, I know what I'm doing physically because the mirroring effect of the camera is going to be a little weird. So, I'm here. I'm going to turn towards my left. So, if my left foot was behind me, like I'm doing a spin side kick. Instead of spinning all the way around, though, whichever wall is on my right side, I'm going to spin and face that wall. So I'm turning this way to face this wall. Probably just made it more confusing, I'm sorry. So here, I'm turning to face the wall, left foot in front, left arm shut. Good, let me get closer here, center up. Switching arms, punch. Then I'm going to face the back of the room, so I'm facing the camera. You guys should be facing away from me technically at this point. Feet comes together, hug my right arm on top. Then if I'm facing the back of the room, I'm going to step out towards my right side, chop, punch. Again, right arm chop, left arm punch. Still going towards the back of the room. I'm going to turn with my right hand. Downward palm strike, same arm as I step forward, back fist. From there, my left arm, downward palm, stepping forward, same arm, back fist. Okay? Last move, I'm going to let these guys show you. Back leg round kick, landing facing the front again. Go ahead, guys. Back leg, and then, ay -ya. Ay -ya. Good. So again, my left leg should be in front at this point. So I should kick, land, now my left foot's in front, fighting stance. That is section two. All right? So from here, again, I'm going to just back three spots, so we have space. Perfect. So section one, section two. Now section three is where we have to kind of break it down. So let's do this. Ooh, what's the easiest way I could do this? All right, let me have Mr. Turner. I'm going to have you come up right here for me. 
And then let me have, let's see. Let me have Mr. Rashad. Yeah, maybe you can come up right here for me. Perfect. All right. So, what you guys don't know is Oh, that's right. So, I'm going to show you all three sections, all three different variations, and then I'm going to have us three, and then you can just whatever section you want to, uh, to demonstrate, okay? So, for blue and purple belts, all you guys do after that round kick, left leg in front, outer forearm block with my left arm, step, outside block, hammer fist. That's all you guys do, okay? So, and one more time. Outer forearm block, outside block, hammer fist. All right, so Mr. Rochette, I'm gonna have you demonstrate that line safe for all of us to go together. Brown and red belts. What you guys have to do is you're doing outer forearm block, outside block, keep spinning, chop, punch, front kick, round kick with my right leg, right arm, outside block, Hammer fist. One more time. Outer forearm block. My left foot, left arm. Step. Outside block. Keep spinning. Left foot comes back in front. Left arm. Shot. Punch. Back leg. Front round. Land right arm. Outside block. Hammer fist. Okay. Red and brown belts. Um, you do that, Mr. Turner. Black belts, you're doing the same thing that red and brown belts are doing, except after the front kick, round kick, you add a spin heel kick, jump, front kick, and then you finish off from there. And I'll do that. All right, Mr. Reynolds, you can do whichever version of section three you want to do. But, all right, so now we're all going to do it together one time through. All right, and then we'll give you guys some time to work on this as on your own. Okay, this is it. So we're here, we all start off, our forearm block. All right, you guys feel comfortable with what you're doing? All right, so again, just doing what your section of the form is. So here, outside block, shot, punch, front, round. Uh, that was a bad heel kick, sorry guys. That was too close to the camera. Boom. Awesome. All right. So I know that's not ideal. All right, you guys head back to your spots. Thank you guys. I know that's not ideal uh, viewing angles and stuff like that, but hopefully you guys were able to um, get a general understanding of it. All right, at least what moves are they are, maybe not what sides. So I'm gonna give you guys about, a, let's do 90 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna start the countdown here as I'm talking. So, real quickly guys, before we kind of just take some time to practice, I uh, just really want to talk about, um, you know, as you guys are working on your goals and working on all that stuff, we want to make sure that, you know, when we have that goal, that we are constantly strategizing how to achieve that goal. And, you know, because of everything that's going on right now, it might be difficult to you know work on some of your goals it might be difficult to uh, you know do certain things so we don't want to just give up on those goals completely all right we want to make sure that we're looking at those goals like okay all right, be, you know this is my uh, these are my constraints all right these are my obstacles I need to overcome how can I strategize how can I come up with a plan to reach the same goal I came up with let's say in January all right, but now I've kind of hit some stumbles, hit some obstacles. How can I rework what I'm doing to still achieve that goal in the reasonable amount of time? So again, just kind of keeping that in mind, guys. Uh, again, as we're training, as we're coming back to the mat, as we're doing whatever our goals entail. All right, so 90 seconds on the clock. Again, just practicing as much of the form as you can. I'm going to have these guys uh, do the form as much as they know. All right, and then if you have questions, I'm going to be here, hopefully not blocking the camera. All right. That way I can answer questions. And go. Move all right. Over here. Good. Okay, so if you have any questions, all right, you can ask. All right. All right, you can watch these guys. Good. Section one and two, all right. you all have. It's all the same for all, all right. of you guys. Section three is where it gets a little tricky. But again, if you have any 
questions at all, I am here to hopefully give the best answer I possibly can. Good. Making sure as we're doing the form, we're hugging nice and strong. So again, if you have no problems on the moves, now it's time to work on the kind of specific details. So again, really hugging those arms nice and strong, uh, really putting uh, effort into those stances. Again, not necessarily that our stances are bad sometimes, it's that we can put a little bit more effort in, make it just a little bit sharper. Uh, always want to take, you know, get that extra 1% better each time we do the form. You know, yelling nice and strong, just like Mr. Turner was. Hi! Good. Mr. Rochette is, Mr. Reynolds is, perfect. Hi! All right. So I'm seeing no questions. Hopefully the comments aren't bugged on me. Good. Hi! Seven more seconds. And then we will get moving into our next drill. Boom. Perfect. All right. So next, let me take the timer off. What we're going to do, we are going to need um, our cone again, all right, or our spot. Again, if you don't have a cone, that's perfectly fine. But I'm going to use a cone. All right. And then before I go into this next drill, I'm going to get a quick drink. If you guys want a quick drink, you can get a quick drink as well uh, at home. If you guys need a drink, you can just drink two. You brought it one. All right. Good. All right. So now what we're going to do, we have our cone, okay? Again, it's just kind of centered for me. All right. I want to have. Let's see if I can show you guys just a little. There's the cone. So again, I have my foot right behind the cone here. Again, in my fighting stance, whichever side I have in front, just like this. Again, I'm staying sideways. And what we're going to do is we are going to shadow box. Okay. What that means is, you know, I mean, you guys. You know, even though it might not sound like something you've done, or you know, it might be a foreign term to you, we've done it before in class, all right, uh, in physical classes. Again, it's just when you don't have a partner, you just work on your combos. That's all it is. That's all shadow boxing is. Is again, you're number ten. You have a partner, an imaginary partner. All right, for the kids, you know, they like to fight giant fire-breathing bears, you know. But I'm here in my fighting stance, and again, my goal, all right, before my side had to face front the entire time. Now, it's going to be a little bit different. I want to keep my uh, side, whichever side is in front, pointed at my cone or my spot, whatever spot I designate, all right? So whatever object you're using, again, here. Again, I want to keep my side facing the cone at all times, just like I would keep my side facing my partner at all times when I spar. And you're just going to do whatever moves you want. Okay, you can do hand techniques, kicks, jump kicks, spin kicks, anything you would like to do. I am going to challenge some of you guys, though. So, if you are a green belt or below, I want you guys to try to focus a little more on your hand techniques. Trying to, you know, not just do punches, all right, but do chops. Try and do maybe ridge hands, hook punches, all right, trying to add some of that into your combos. If you are a blue or purple belt, trying to add some spin kicks or jump kicks, okay? Brown and red, uh, brown and red belts. You guys are doing jump spin kicks, okay? Again, whatever jump spin kick you can do. All right. If you can't do a certain jump spin kick, don't do it when you're practicing on sparring. All right. For right now. All right. Right now, just trying to do the moves that you know how to do that you're comfortable with in your combinations. And for black belts, okay, really trying to work uh, specifically, all right, on where your hands are at, okay, where your hands are at, and trying to make sure when you're doing your spin kicks or your jump kicks or your jump spin kicks, really trying to make sure your hands are locked, all right. I know a lot of times, all right, move my cone out of the way. I do a side kick. All right, just watching my hands, watching where my body is at that point. If I do a side kick, 
my arm kind of wings out, and I'm open here for a second. Even though I'm kicking, all right, they are able to block, they're able to get me here possibly. So I want to keep that arm pinned to my side a little bit. All right, so I'm here, it's a little lower, but again, my head's farther back when I do the kick. So I'm here, kick. And now I'm a lot more covered, a lot more protected. So black belts, that's your goal, is trying to, when you're doing your kicks, trying to fill some of those gaps, all right? Uh, like that. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna have you guys go ahead and go for it so you guys can get started. You guys at home can get started. I'm gonna get a timer up for one minute, if there is a one minute timer. There's a lot of two minutes. All right, we're gonna go for two minutes, why not? All righty, so we're here, just moving around, trying to showcase your moves. Boom, boom, keeping this hands up in guard. Always making sure it's good posture. All right, don't want to be like, mm, it's wrong like that. You want to keep your back up straight, okay? Also, don't focus so much on your movement right now as much as your combinations, okay? Movement's important, all right? But I know sometimes if we don't have a partner there, we don't have like, you know, an actual target to hit or somebody to actually block, again, we're not gonna, you know, work on it as much. Okay, we're just gonna like, okay, I'm moving around. All right, but one, that's boring, and two, again, overall, that's not gonna help us. So again, trying to move and attack at the same time. All right, we're taking small pauses, not long pauses. All right, maybe back. Keep it up in 30 more seconds. Good. Alrighty. 17 more seconds. Keep it going. You might be tired, but that's okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one time. Perfect. Nicely done. Awesome. From there, now what we're going to do, let's see here, uh, is we're going to work on, let me see, we probably need to extend this window for us if we can, which I don't know. Hold on. Uh, we're going to get a video for you guys. We're going to work a little bit more on our blocking. All right, so we're going to work on that here in a little bit. If I can get my window in the correct position that I need it to be. Well, OK. Let's see. Video five. All right, this is the blocking challenge, all right? So let's get ready to rumble. All right. Get, get ready. ready. Get ready. Level, Level one. one. So we're just going to be doing some different blocks, guys. Left, left, left block. block. All right, so we're just following the directions. Left, 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 left out of four, four block. block. Left out of four. Whichever, you can have whatever side in front that you want. Level, Level two. two. Just follow the sides. Left, left, left block. block. Left, left out, out of four, four block. block. Right, right low block. block. Right, right out of four, four block. block. Level three. Strength, Strength build around. around. Do ten, ten seconds, seconds of push-ups. Push -ups. Ready. Ready. Set. Set. Go. Go. Level, level four. four. Level four. Left level block. Left down of four arm block. Right low block. 
right out of four on block. Duck. Level five. Let's load the lock. Left out of four on block. Right low block. Right out of four on block. Duck. Left outside block. Level 6. Strength, Strength build, build around. around. Do, Do 10, 10 seconds, seconds of push-ups. Push Ready. Ready. Set. Set. Go. Go. Level 7. Left load lock. Left out of four arm block. Right low block. Right out of four arm block. Duck. What? Left outside block. Left outside block. Right, right outside, outside block. block. Got it. Jump. jump. Now we got to jump. Level, level eight. eight. Level eight. Left low block. block. Left, Left out of four arm block. block. Right low right block. block. Right, right out of four arm block. block. Duck. Duck. Left, Left outside, outside block. block. Right, right outside, outside block. block. Jump. 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 Left, Left high block. block. Right, right high block. block. Level, Level 9. nine. Strength, Strength build around. around. Do, Do 10, 10 seconds, seconds of push-ups. Push Ready. Ready. Set. Set. Go. Go. Level 10. Final Level. level. Left high block. block. Right, right low block. block. Duck. Right, right outside, outside block. Right, right high block. block. Jump. Jump. Left, Left low block. block. Left, Left out of four arm block. Right, right out of four arm block. Duck. Left, Left outside block. Left high block. Jump. Jump. Woo! Congratulations. Oh, you did it! Awesome. You did it! All right, let me get back to full screen mode. All right, guys. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do one more quick thing. All right and then we'll get out of here real quick. So, the last thing that we're gonna do, okay, is a super fun challenge. We are gonna work a little bit on 
All right, some handstands, all right? So if you have, or make sure you're putting, have some space, all right, to where you can do a handstand, all right, or, you know, specifically, hopefully, a uh, carpet, not hardwood, that way in case you do tumble, it's not gonna hurt as much. But again, I'm gonna break it down to levels. You do whatever level you're comfortable with, or whatever space allows, okay? I'm gonna be going through all of them. So, uh, us, we all wanna make one straight line right here in the middle, so that we all have some space. Good. Perfect. Level one. All right, hold on, let me mark this down. All right, level one, all right, is I have whatever leg I want, all right, um, kind of, well, yeah, whichever leg I'm kind of most comfortable with, so if I like kicking with my right leg or I'm right-handed, I'm gonna put that right leg behind me, all right? If you're lefty, you do the opposite, so you put left leg. And all level one is, is trying to keep this leg, my left leg that's in front, or right leg, which really is in front, keeping that leg straight as I go and I touch the ground, lifting this other leg off the ground, okay? So again, all I'm doing, I'm not jumping, I'm not doing anything, keeping my front leg straight, hands up high, and I basically touch the ground, my other leg comes up off the ground. That's all level one is, all right? Level two, is again that same thing, now I add a little bit of a hop. So now I'm here, going down, and I hop off of my base leg. One more time here, hands up, going down, and I hop, okay? One important thing to keep in mind for these levels, but also for higher levels, I don't wanna reach forward, okay? If, you know, I don't know if you can see it forward, but if I'm reaching super far, Again, then I'm gonna probably most likely fall over. All right, I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna do something I don't wanna do. So I wanna try and go from a, as straight a line as possible from my hands pointing towards the ceiling to the ground, okay? I don't wanna make it an angle. So one more time for level two. I'm here, going down and up, okay? Level three. Again, I'm gonna go through all these levels if I, you say a level that you don't feel comfortable with or you're not um, quite ready on that previous level, again, stick to that level, okay? Level three is now I wanna jump up a little bit higher to where my back leg is straight up and down uh, towards the ceiling as best I can, all right? It's not always the easiest thing to do. It takes practice uh, to get it all the way there, but as best you can. So now I'm here going up trying to point it towards the ceiling. I don't know if you can see that well or not. Just get this way a little bit one more time. Going up and then down. So just jumping a little bit higher, pointing my back leg, which should be straight, by the way, up towards the ceiling. So if you guys want to go ahead and practice that level while I see if we have any comments. Okay. So again, doing whatever level you feel comfortable with, make sure you're practicing uh, the previous level, at least a few times, getting the hang of it before you move on to the next one. Uh, cool. All right, levels four and five. All right, going pause for this thing, guys. Just All right, level four and five. All right, um, four is just now I take the leg that I hopped off of and I'm trying to bring it up towards my other foot. So I'm trying to meet it. All right, and clap my feet together. Level five is just I'm trying to hold it for as long as I can. Okay, so I'm actually have Mr. Turner, but have you be front and center for me? All right, go ahead and show level four slash five, however long you can hold it. Here, okay, so he brings his other leg up. Again, if you could be fancy, kind of clap your feet together, that's fine. And then you're just trying to, from there, hold it as long as you can. So from here, Mr. Turner, do it one more time for me. There you go, perfect. All right, so. Good. Yeah, I know this is extremely hard. All right, it's supposed to be a challenging move, and I know I'm kind of going through it pretty quickly. But, all right, let's actually go through, before I have you guys practice, let's go through the levels one more time. So, level one, front leg, all right, back leg, all right, hands up, and all I'm trying to do is touch my toes, all right, while bringing my back leg a little bit off the ground. That's level one. So I'm just here, touch my toes, back leg. Level three, or not level three, level two, adding a little bit of a hop. 
So I'm hopping off my front foot, down, a little bit of a hop. Level three, trying to get my back leg straight up and down towards the ceiling. So I'm here as much as I can. And then level four is bringing that other leg up to meet it. Level five is holding. So I'm here, going up as best I can. All right. So. <laughs> All right. Good. Yeah, and you know, again, another thing, again, this is happy you actually bring up a good point. If you want to just work on the hold part or just getting used to being upside down, just go up against the wall. All right, get your feet up against it and just try and hold that position, all right? That's a good way to practice it as well uh, if you don't feel comfortable just doing it free form. So we're going to go for another 30 more seconds. Again, doing whatever level you feel comfortable with, all right? So you guys, all right, whatever level you feel comfortable with, which I know some of you guys are good at it, are good to go all the way. All righty. From there, boom. All right, I'm going to see if I can angle this so you can see them. Do fun stuff back there. Oh no. All right, hopefully it was a soft floor, not a hard floor, Mr. Lucas. But again, it's a challenging move. All right, it's not meant, it's not meant to be mastered in one day, it's meant to be practiced over and over, but I wanted to give you guys uh, some time to work on it, show you guys again the different levels one more time, and time. Again, a couple of things. Got to, again, work on that upper body strength. So that's one thing if you're having trouble with, that might be something you need to work on. Another thing is I got to make it smooth. All right, if I try and go down, touch my toes, and then I try to jump, all right, I'm going to see if I can make myself look silly right now. All right, when I'm here and I go down, and then from this position, I try and jump and bring my legs up, I'm going to fall flat on my face. All right, I have to make it one smooth motion. And last thing, keeping my legs straight, that helps one, make it look cleaner, but also, again, makes it momentum and science -y stuff, makes it a lot easier for me to hold and control and do. All right, one more time, Mr. Turner, let's see that handstand. Boom. All right, guys, so thank you guys for joining us today. Having fun doing the handstands. All right, I know that's challenging. I know um, the form might have been tricky because of the mirroring of the video. But again, we do have a video on the page uh, where I'm doing it the correct way in terms of uh, sides and stuff. That's a little bit easier to follow. So check that out. And hopefully we'll see you guys in on the mat too, where we'll be able to help you guys with your form and anything else you would like to work on. All right? So say bye, instructors. Bye. 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 Thank you guys for joining us. Hopefully have a great rest of your night. All right, now i got to find the button. Boop.